Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review the Shudder original Slacks. Make a better tomorrow today. Directed by Elsa Capart, starring Romaine Dennis, Brett Donahue, Sahir Bojani, and Erica Anderson. This movie is about a possessed pair of pants that goes on a killing spree on the evening before the launch. Well, these are fabulous. Yeah, who would suspect that they're counterfeit jeans? So what do we like? There's only one thing to like about this film, and that is the fact that it's a pair of jeans walking around killing people. It is exactly what you would want in this movie. Small price to pay for an awesome ass. The way that it's done, the way that the jeans walk around and the way that they move is so good. It's so well done. And you get a glimpse of it in the credits because it shows like somebody in a green screen walking <laughs> these pants around and it's fantastic. It even does a little Bollywood dance, which is amazing. This is the kind of scene that you need in one of these movies. They know what they're doing. It's a stupid concept and they just had fun with it. When you're watching this, it's like, yeah, I just want to see a pair of jeans like gobble people up or like tighten them to a point that they like bust in half. And and it delivers. It really does. It's just a simple formula that works. And there's lots of people working at this store and you don't really care for them. They're just kind of run of the mill characters and that's all they're supposed to be because they get just get killed off anyway. That one guy in the warehouse, that kill scene was so dope. There's no deception here. What you see in the trailer is what you get. So, well, I did say that I didn't really like the characters necessarily. I did like the acting. I think everyone did a good job being like they're annoying selves working at a store that they don't really care about and you know it's also presented almost in like a high fashion term I mean that one top that Libby bought was like a hundred 15 bucks? Come on. Gotta get with the seasons. But the standout is obviously Libby, played by Romaine Dennis or Denise. It's a French film so it's probably Denise. So I, I apologize for earlier. She was so good, especially as like the naive young hire who just loves this company, loves what it stands for. Because Libby herself is just somebody that you can get behind right out the gate. Should we call the police? We can't. We're in lockdown. What if there's a killer out there? Are you afraid there's a killer out there? She's absolutely adorable, but she's just like sweet and innocent. And you're just like, please don't get gobbled up by jeans. Yeah, she basically reminded me of every EB Games employee before they became an EB Games employee. Oh yeah, they called it GameStop though. Oh. We call it EB Games. We both yeah. worked at EB Games. And yeah, it's GameStop, sorry. So it's like every GameStop employee before working at GameStop. And that kind of touches on something that I think people will enjoy is some of like the retail comedy. If you've ever worked in a retail store, you're going to enjoy certain aspects because you have like the salespeople, you've got the manager who's trying to be the region manager, and you also have people that are like just used to stocking the shelves that are more blunt than some of the, the peppy attitudes around. So it is a good mix of a little like conversation pieces between them. As much as people want to take this for what it is, a pair of pants that kill people, it actually touches on a lot of like social issues. Yeah, like it gets a little heavy handed about about like closer to the end and that's fine. It does break up some of the silliness, but it is what it is. I did like seeing um, some more Indian influence in movies. You don't often see that. It's like we watch a lot of indie horror, but we don't watch a lot of indie horror. Now, what didn't we like? Don't you hate pants? Sometimes you just want to watch a movie about pants killing people for no reason. I feel like there's going to be that audience out there that in the final act of the film, they're going to be like, well, no, I don't actually care about this. I liked seeing pants wiggling around on the ground, gobbling people up. Yes, the issues are important. There's just like a time and a place, I guess. Everything is kind of like pretty peppy and then it just goes, hey, stop. We got to talk to the pants for a second and get the scoop. But even saying that sounds more fun than it actually <laughs> is at that point. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this was too long for what the concept was. <laughs> to be clear, it's only an hour and like 13 minutes. Not to say that it was too long, it was repetitive. That I think is what the issue is because it is all taking place in one store. When you have something amazing like pants that walk around and kill people, you want them to explore the world and do a variety of kills. Maybe it's budget restriction, maybe it's story restriction. We don't know, but it's an odd dislike to have to say that I wanted something more, but I felt that we got too much of the same thing. This is one of those movies that I think 
Yes, could have been a short, almost like a Treevenge length because it's the same concept. Inanimate objects killing people in cool ways, but you know, it runs its course and then there's not really much more to get out of the movie after like the 30 minute mark, honestly. Aside from the explanation, which they, you're gonna know from like the opening shot what is really going on. Oh my God, I'm so like totally excited. I could just die. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this in my life. I wanted a way bigger Bollywood music number. And at that moment, I'm like, if we don't have an after credit scene of a big ass Bollywood dance off, oh, I'm gonna be so upset. And here we are, me upset. That's what you're seeing. <laughs> I'm drunk. I wanted fucking more dancing pants. So we know two things. It loves Bollywood music and it has a bindi on its forehead. Now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. Slacks is a pretty simple story and I'm thankful that it was because it's just pants killing people. And when it kills people, it kills them well. The way that the jeans moved around was hilarious. Uh, the characters are fine. I didn't love all of the comedy, but I think it will be relatable for some. The same is true with the characters. Like, I didn't really love the characters, but I've definitely worked with every single person here. The movie itself is really well done, but like John said, it could have been shorter and potentially just been a short because they spent a little bit too much time in the third act doing some explanation and maybe over explaining but it's an enjoyable movie and I would recommend it so I'm gonna give this three vlogs gone wrong out of five I love inanimate objects that become killers and this film nailed it they literally had pants walking around on their own killing people that's all you really want from this film and sadly it kind of dragged out a little too much and I'm a little disappointed in that I feel like they could have given us more with the characters and presented us with different situations because near the end, a lot of the kills ended up being off screen because it focused more on the backstory than actually having fun with pants running around and killing people. But you do get to see some cool kills and there are some hilarious moments. And even though I feel like this would have been better off as a short, I still enjoyed the film as a whole and I would recommend it. So with that being said, I give this film three pairs of pants pretending to be a human out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film if you've seen it. If you haven't and you do want to check it out, it is on Shudder, link is in the description. If it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay up to date with everything Bloodbath and beyond.